Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Webflow Enthusiasts In this short tutorial, we are giving your Webflow website the social touch Join me for a quick tips on how to add social media icons to your Webflow website in 2024 Ready to connect with your audience? Let's get started! So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so guys, in this video, you would only need a Webflow account. So here I'm going to go ahead and log in to one of my websites. And let's go to the designer mode so we can start this video. So normally guys, sometimes, or not normally, but sometimes when you are creating a website within uh, Webflow, you come around the templates so we can go near your site and you can come around some templates that already have social media links or icons inside of them but with today's video I'm going to show you especially how to add them from scratch so again let's go to the designer mode and basically you only need few methods to add it so I'm going to show you all of these methods there is the automatic method the, the manual method and some kind of other methods so here it is my website it is pretty empty here i'm going to firstly add a section and this is the section where i'm going to add my social media so here simply just close all of these and you will find here like uh, typography which we don't need at the moment tms we don't need web payment not ours uh, media so here's some images video and there is of course um, something like forms which you don't need as well and finally here in advance you will find a couple of social media so you will find Facebook and you will find also as you saw there Twitter so here we have Facebook so if I click right here you will be able to see if you want it to be a box a button uh, whatever you want it to be exactly so first thing is the display I want it to be flex uh, I want it to be in the middle so it could be aligning like that or at the bottom okay let's click both here here you can adjust it so you can make the width and the height here you can make it go to the middle for example like that um, here you can play around you can put it to the left to the right uh, here you can make it vertical or horizontal here you can play with the layout how to display it and here the spacing for example we can put a little bit of spacing as you can see and this is the button so here we have this Facebook button which is basically not working so if I clicked on publish right here and what I waited for the website to get published and then for example I clicked on the URL let me just go to the URL and let's preview it basically if I clicked there is nothing really happening I'm just going to click here to follow but there is no link that is existing right there so what we should do is to actually connect it with some kind of pages so I'm going here to type for example click double click and add a Facebook URL so www dot facebook dot com slash we need to add a page because here if I clicked on it and we don't have a page well then the button will simply disappears why is it so because we don't have a page with a number of followers so we have to actually add like let's find a page Facebook um, like Barcelona let's find FC Barcelona page and we can copy this and we can simply go here and paste it and as you can see once we have copied it they have given us follow 11.4 million or I don't know oh it's 114 million not 0.4 sorry guys 114 million so here we go now we can click on publish and we simply have to give it a couple seconds and if I refresh this page the number will change and the link will normally be taking us to Facebook so here it is the button and now we have to work on something else so this is the first method to add it and how it works as I said it's pretty easy pretty simple so you have the URL right here and here you have everything from settings and etc so you have everything right here from ID page URL and so much more 
now what is the second method it is basically by so as you can see here we have limited amount of social media icons we have twitter we have x which is right here so we can do the same thing that we did we can put it in the middle play around do things do that do this but in general it is not really helpful because let's say i want to add instagram accounts well what should i do in that position well it's pretty simple so you just have to go for example for flat icon and let's search for instagram so this is exactly what you should do search for instagram and here we have this icon click on edit icon download and choose to download it in 24 pixels after that go here click on add and here instead of going to forms or uh, advanced just simply click on media click right here choose image and you will finally here find these images click on upload go to download and download the last picture which is going to be your instagram icon so here it is and now you can go here to the settings and make it connect for example with a website make it add, like add a website into it you can even ha add like a hyperlink into it so there is a lot of things to actually start working with here you have an optics that you can add you can add a custom description you can put it in the middle but yeah in general this is your icon you simply have to work in it uh, uh, choose a better icon for example so it can match this form or follow post you can create it on Photoshop as an example or choose the star button or you can choose whatever button from this website which is basically flat icon so you can find here all these different like icons and stuff that can really 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 help you and stand out uh, in your website so you can for example search here for reddit icon so here it goes so there is reddit there is also discord and the best thing about this website it doesn't give you one logo it gives you so many variations of the same logo so here these these are all discord logos but in different shapes different colors different ways so you can really have a specific look of your website for example you don't want to go with the normal shape of this card which is kind of like that one or the normal smile of it you simply want to have something unique well you can for example choose this one or that one or this one or even go for something very very special for example this one and you can find similar logos with facebook reddit and instagram and even more than that so guys these are the three ways that you can add with it to your social media links so you can either go here add a new structure click on add and add like a media or basically uh, which is going to be image and choose it to be image and then add a hyperlink into it or simply go with advanced and choose one of these facebook or x which are going to be your only social media on your website so guys that was it for today's video see you guys in the next tutorial